Julia Roberts is a world-famous actress, a star of Hollywood romantic comedies and dramas. During her acting career, she had repeatedly won prestigious awards, and her fees are incredibly huge. How the owner of Hollywood's most disarming smile achieved success and how she lives now. Julia Roberts, How Pretty Woman Lives and Where She Is Now. The future icon of romantic comedies was born on October 28, 1967, in Smyrna, Georgia. Julia Flona was the third child in the family. She had an older brother, Eric Roberts, and a sister, Lisa. They also chose acting as a profession. All the children of the Roberts family were drawn to the big screen for a reason. Their parents were also people of art. The father of the family, Walter Grady Roberts, was simultaneously a seller of water mattresses, an actor, and a writer. Julia's mother, Betty Lou, was a Paris secretary and part-time actress. Together they ran an acting school and were in a difficult financial situation by the time they had baby Julia. Coincidentally, the children of Martin Luther King attended their school, and it was he who paid the hospital bill for Julia's mother in the maternity hospital as a sign of gratitude for the attention to his children. In 1971, when Julia was four years old, Betty Lou filed for divorce, and the following year she moved into a new house and married theater critic Michael Motes, with whom they had a daughter, Nancy. In 1983, this marriage also broke up. Betty called her second marriage a big mistake, since her husband did not like her children from the first marriage and even used physical violence against them. As an adult, Julia has never made her memories of a difficult childhood public out of respect for her mother and stepsister. But the actress's brother, Eric, would later state that their stepfather was a monster and turned their life into a nightmare. After the mother's second divorce, the children had to go to work to make money for a living. From the age of 13, Julia worked as a waitress at a pizza place while studying at Griffin High School and Campbell College. The future celebrity was fond of playing the clarinet, took part in local beauty contests, but never won. Classmates considered her ugly and bullied her for her tall height, big mouth, and thinness. The actress is very critical of her appearance, despite the fact that she is constantly presented in various ratings of the most beautiful women in the world. Robert said she has grasshopper legs, horse teeth, and straw for hair. With all this, she is opposed to plastic surgery and doesn't like makeup and flashy clothes. Her brother Eric played a big role in her acting career, whose success deeply impressed young Julia, and she began to participate in amateur productions. But initially her dream was to become a veterinarian, as she loved animals very much. After graduating from high school, Julia entered Georgia State University and then moved to New York with her sister to try her hand at film acting. There she signed a contract with a modeling agency and began attending acting courses. In addition, the young actress began to train her pronunciation, since her southern accent was inappropriate on the screen. Soon the girl abandoned acting courses because she didn't see any results from them and began to visit auditions. By the way, when she joined the Actors Guild of the USA, she had to change her birth name from Julie to Julia, since another actress named Julie Roberts was already registered there. The next step on the way to success was a trip to Hollywood to move in with her brother, who had already achieved success in the movies. It turned out that the American film industry didn't need another provincial actress with a specific smile, which became the first serious disappointment for the young actress. In 1987, she managed to get only a small role in the TV series Crime Story and the movie Firehouse. At first, her brother helped her a lot and even invited Julia for a small role of his character's sister in the action movie Blood Red, which was released three years after filming. But soon he got tired of babysitting his sister and declared that it was time for her to take care of herself. Who knows, maybe if she hadn't gotten that kick in the rear, she wouldn't have been so successful. But young Julia then considered this an act of betrayal and even stopped communicating with her brother. Later, she took revenge on him by helping his ex-wife with the divorce lawsuit. Tabloids still write that their relationship hasn't recovered. After losing her main assistant and conquering the big screen, Julia continued to improve her acting skills by entering a dance studio and learning how to play various instruments. Without the help of her brother, the actress starred in the TV show Miami Vice. In the movie Satisfaction, Julia portrayed a girl playing in a rock band, and for this role, she learned how to play drums and bass. On the set of the project, Julia met Liam Neeson, with whom she started dating. Roberts was 19 at the time and Liam was 35. This union didn't last long. The couple broke up soon after moving in together 
since Julia declared that she wasn't ready for family life and immediately moved out. Also in 1988, the actress was invited for a role in the comedy Mystic Pizza, for which she had to dye her brown hair black. For this picture, the actress, who is gaining popularity, received $50,000, and the next role of Julia Roberts in the 1989 Steel Magnolias made both critics and viewers talk about her as one of the most promising actresses in America. My reception, my reception, ferns, dancing, tons of people, every pink flower west of the Mississippi, wedding cake in the dining room and the groom's cake. In this film, Julia played a minor but memorable role of a diabetic girl preparing for a wedding. The film became a blockbuster, collecting $80 million in America. Robert received $90,000 for her performance, a Golden Globe Award, and an Oscar nomination in the Best Supporting Actress category. By the way, Julia met a new boyfriend on the set, Dylan McDermott, who proposed to the girl, but the wedding never took place. In 1990, Julia took part in the movie Flatliners, which brought the actress $500,000 and a new lover, Kiefer Sutherland, with whom she even got engaged. The actor was the reason for Julia's breakup with her previous boyfriend. They were supposed to have the wedding of the year, but meanwhile tabloids caught Julia with a close friend of Kiefer, Jason Patrick. However, this wedding was not destined to happen since the girl broke off the engagement three days before the ceremony, running away with the groom's friend to Ireland, for which she was given the nickname Runaway Bride, which she will confirm more than once abruptly ending relationships. Also in 1990, Julia Roberts starred in many girls' favorite movie, Pretty Woman. Oh, honey. You know what's happened? I've got a runner in my pantyhose. I'm not wearing pantyhose. It's one of the most famous romantic comedies, which has become a classic. The original title of the film was $3,000 because it was the amount agreed upon by the main characters. And Vivian, played by Julia, was supposed to be a drug addict and die of an overdose at the end of the film, according to one screenplay, or go to Disneyland with a friend in an alternative ending. But the director remade all the dark scenes and added a happy ending. During the preparation for filming, Julia spent a lot of time with director Gary Marshall's wife, who ran a free clinic on Hollywood Boulevard in order to learn how to behave like Vivian. It's interesting that during the filming of an intimate scene with Richard Gere, the young actress was so nervous that a vein popped out on her forehead. It was visible on camera, so the director and Gere had to massage the actress's forehead. In the scene where Vivian watches old comedies, they had to tickle Julia's heels to achieve genuine laughter from the actress. Julia's dog was present at the shooting. It didn't appreciate the romantic scene between Julia and Richard and started barking. So the scene had to be reshot several times. The actors also had a very busy schedule and Roberts didn't have time to eat. Eventually she became ill and fainted. Then Marshall helped her again, feeding the actress tuna. Another fun fact, on the Pretty Woman poster, there's only Julia's head and the body belongs to her understudy. Apparently Roberts had no time for shooting posters. Pretty Woman was a huge success all over the world, and although critics reacted somewhat cool to the picture, it earned about $180 million only in the United States, bringing Roberts a second Oscar nomination as Best Actress and a second Golden Globe. The actress's earnings for the movie amounted to $300,000. Roberts' success made her a real movie star and allowed her to increase the levels of her fees. In 1991, the thriller Sleeping with the Enemy was released, for which she was paid a million dollars which made 23-year-old Julia the youngest actress to receive a seven-figure fee. Listen, there's only one more thing I'm gonna ask, only one thing I wanna know. Do you have a name? In the same year the film Dying Young, starring long-haired Julia was released, where her fee was $3 million, as well as the fairy tale of Peter Pan Hook, for which the actress was paid $7 million. Meanwhile, she had a fleeting affair with James Foley. In the following years, the actress starred in the movie The Player and the thriller The Pelican Brief that brought Roberts $8 million. You mean you skipped class and ignored me for a week and now you're throwing it away? Let me see it. Don't laugh. It was ludicrous of me to think that I could solve it. The image of Darby Shaw was written specifically for Julia Roberts. She immediately agreed to the role after reading the book. Also in 1993, Julia herself proposed to country singer Lyle Lovett, 
After dating him for only a few weeks, there was a wedding, but the couple lived together only for two years and then peacefully divorced on their own initiative. The actress's next project was a 1994 action movie with elements of drama and comedy, I Love Trouble. Fun fact, the main character jokes about Julia's character, Sabrina, saying that he liked the article where she portrayed a prostitute, which was a reference to Pretty Woman. In the next few years, Julia starred in the films Pret a Porte, Something to Talk About, Everyone Says I Love You, Michael Collins, and Mary Riley, which brought the actress $8.5 million. In 1996, Julia took part in the famous and highly rated TV show Friends, on the set of which she began an affair with Matthew Perry, but the actor was using drugs, so they quickly broke up, since it was unacceptable for Julia. Excuse me. Nah. <laughs> Uh, is your name Chandler? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Chandler Bing. Do you know me or are you just really good at this game? <laughs> I'm Susie Moss. Soon Julia found love again. It was the actor Daniel Day-Lewis with whom she was going to star in Shakespeare in Love. They met several times in London, but when the actor refused the role, their relationship ended. In those years, the lovable actress had relationships with Ethan Hawke and her personal coach, Pat Minocchia, which also ended quickly. In 1997, two films were released at once, which significantly made Julia Roberts richer. It was Conspiracy Theory, with a fee of $11 million, and the drama My Best Friend's Wedding, which brought the actress $12 million. Julia personally selected the actors for this movie, choosing Cameron Diaz and Dermot Mulroney. Right off, I have this monstrous favor to ask you. Excuse me? My best friend Angelique shattered her pelvis line dancing in Abilene over spring break. Be my maid of honor? What? This period was extremely successful for Roberts, whose movies certainly became box office hits, and everyone wanted her for the main role. Soon the actress found a new admirer, Benjamin Bratt. As Julie admitted, she fell in love with the swarthy handsome man at first sight when she saw him on the street. The couple was together for four years, and the guy was given the nickname Mr. Roberts by the media. In 1998, the actress appeared in the TV series Murphy Brown and the movie Stepmom, and a year later in an episode of Law & Order. In general, 1999 was rich in both fees and movies. The actress, along with Hugh Grant, starred in the drama Notting Hill, where she demonstrated her talent for improvisation. The scene in which Anna, Julia's character, chastises a noisy company of men in a restaurant wasn't from the script. An interesting coincidence, the fee for her character's last picture is equal to the amount paid to Julia for shooting in the film, $15 million. Turn over four TRSs and tell them we need radar feedback before the KFTs return at 1900. Then inform the Pentagon we'll need black star cover from 1000 through 1215. And if you say one word about how many mistakes I made in that speech, I'll pelt you with olives. For this work, Julia was nominated for a Golden Globe. Meanwhile, another film was released in which the actress allegedly played herself. It was Runaway Bride. I don't know. I, I, I frankly, I don't even want to talk about it. Me neither. <laughs> On the set, Julia worked with director Gary Marshall again. Roberts used to entertain his grandchildren with a platypus face, which he liked so much that he used it in the frame of the film. By the way, Julia agreed to the shooting on the condition that it would be a single film without a sequel since she didn't want to star in sequels. In 2000, Erin Brockovich was released, which became a real triumph for Julia. I'm doing this for us. I know it's hard for you to understand, but... Don't you want mommy to be good at her job? Hmm? It not only became a box office hit, but also brought the actress an Oscar, a BAFTA award, and a third Golden Globe, as well as an Actors Guild Award. The fee amounted to an unprecedented amount at that time, $20 million, making Roberts the first actress to cross this milestone. By the way, Julie is left-handed, but her character is not, so the actress had some difficulties on the set, for example, with signing papers. The actress appeared at the Oscar ceremony wearing one of the most expensive dresses to have ever been worn at this event, which cost her almost $100 million. The following year on the set of The Mexican, Julia met her current husband, Daniel Motor, a cinematographer who was married at that moment. Julia was paid $5 million for the movie. Next, Ocean's Eleven came out with a payout of $10 million, you're 30 seconds late. I was about to send out a search. 
know this. What are you doing here? And America's Sweethearts, in which Julia refused the main role in favor of a minor role, but it did not prevent her from earning $15 million. In 2002, Motor and Roberts got married, which came as a surprise to everyone. It was even rumored that Roberts paid an impressive sum to Daniel's ex-wife so that she would agree to speed up the divorce. Very little is known about the wedding ceremony. Julia was wearing a pink cotton dress and Moda was wearing a shirt with a frill collar. Later, the actress admitted that she and Danny made matching tattoos with each other's initials shortly before the wedding, but the letters are located where no one will see them. Later, the couple settled in a luxurious mansion in Malibu with a tennis court for $9.5 million. In that year, Julia starred in the film's Full Frontal, Grand Championship, and George Clooney's directorial debut, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, in which the actress agreed to act for friendship's sake for a symbolic $250,000. The next film, released in 2003, brought the actress as much as $25 million. It was the drama Mona Lisa Smile. Joe. Hello. How are you? Great, thank you so much for this. You're a pal. It's a pleasure. Your timing is perfect. This was followed by the sequel, Ocean's 12, which made Roberts richer by $5 million. Is call Marcus and have him get a hold of Louise so okay. we can make arrangements to send someone down there to get it. He's home now, right? Oh. Marcus. I need to, you know, I need to talk to Marcus. By the way, during the filming, the actress was pregnant with twins. Next came the movie Closer with a payout of $20 million. In the same year, Julia gave birth to a boy, Phineas Walter, and a girl, Hazel Patricia. The actress was warned by doctors that due to poor blood clotting, there was a high risk of death during childbirth, which came prematurely, but fortunately it turned out fine. In 2006, Roberts made a deal with the famous designer, Gianfranco Ferret, and starred in his advertisement for a new collection of sunglasses. For it, the actress was paid $5 million. After a short break in 2006, Julia voiced the cartoon Charlotte's Web and Aunt Bully. This was followed by the movies Charlie Wilson's War, for which the actress was nominated for a Golden Globe, and Fireflies in the Garden, which was directed by Julia's husband, Daniel. In this film, Julia played the mother of Ryan Reynolds' character, although in real life she is only nine years older than her on-screen son. But the on-screen pregnancy was real, and soon the family had a younger son, Henry. But the actress didn't rest for long, and already in 2009 she was in business, starring in the film Duplicity for $15 million, and a year later in Valentine's Day, which brought another $3 million. In the same year, another bestseller was released, the biographical drama Eat, Pray, Love. I just spent some time in Rome, and I came here feeling so great. Now, here I am at the source, and I feel more disconnected than ever. Roberts bought the rights to the film adaptation of the novel of the same name herself and played the main role there. By the way, after filming, in an interview, the actress admitted that she is a Hindu like her husband and they periodically visit Hindu temples with the whole family. In the same year, an advertising video of the Lavazza coffee brand was released with Julia. For the role without words in the 45-second video, the actress was paid $1.35 million. At the same time, Roberts was announced as the face of the Lancome brand. The actress was offered a unique contract for the company, five years of cooperation and $50 million. The following year, the actress voiced the romantic comedy Love, Wedding, Marriage and starred in the film with Tom Hanks, Larry Crown. And in 2012, she played the evil queen in the family fantasy movie Mirror, Mirror. Bread is meat. Less is more. Blah, blah, blah. Commoners love a good metaphor. Just go sell it. Bread is meat. At first, Roberts, as said in an interview, was a thousand percent against this film and considered starring in it a terrible idea. But after meeting with the director, she changed her mind. The actress said that her costumes were very heavy and made it difficult for her to move. And she even pulled the muscle by turning too quickly and filming had to be suspended. Moreover, the actress's children were hiding under voluminous ball gowns, but still between takes, Julia decided to take them away so that they would not hear her character's speech and would not be afraid. The children, although interested, didn't watch that film so that they would not find the character of their mother unpleasant. 
By the way, the transformation of Roberts into an old witch with a poisoned apple was kept a secret until the release of the film. At this time, a tragedy happened in the actress's family. Julia's half-sister Nancy died. The cause of death was an overdose on medications, and a suicide note was found next to the body, in which Nancy told all about her relationship with her half-sister on three pages and accused Julia of driving her to suicide. She blamed the beautiful sister for the fact that she had caused mental trauma by making fun of her for her obesity. In 2013, Julia joined the Gucci charity program in which she paid special attention to the problem of harmful smoke that is breathed during cooking. The actress plans to replace bad stoves with working ones in poor areas of Africa. A year later, Roberts became the face of Givenchy, presenting herself in a new unusual image, strong and determined, without styling and almost without makeup. By the way, the actress prefers to lie down when makeup is applied to her, as she believes that in this way the results look more natural. In the next few years, the actress starred in the films August of Sage County, The Normal Heart, Secret in Their Eyes, Money Monster, and Mother's Day. The latter brought Julia $3 million, and the family drama Wonder brought her a fee of $6 million. Okay. Open your eyes. No! no! You, you finished your thesis? Let's get drunk. <laughs> in 2018, the actress took part in the TV series Homecoming, for which she received another $600,000 and in the drama Ben is Back. In 2019, Roberts became the face of the Italian brand Calzadonia, and in 2020, Chappard released a promotional video of Happy Sport Watches starring Julia, in which she is carelessly dancing and enjoying life. A few releases are expected in the following years. The drama series Gaslit, about the Watergate scandal, the romantic comedy Ticket to Paradise, and the drama The Friday Night Knitting Club, based on the book of the same name by Kate Jacobs. By the way, Julie is the most famous knitter in Hollywood. She comes up with complex schemes and can knit anything from a scarf to a coat or a bag. At home, she has a whole workshop for different types of needlework, and she carries yarn with her to set so as not to sit around in her free time. Interestingly enough, all the years that Julie has been married to Danny, their marriage has been predicted to end soon. For example, in 2018, the actress was not seen in the company of her husband for almost nine months, but the paparazzi still managed to catch the couple while walking on the beach. And after that, the actress herself shared cute family photos with followers. And last year, the couple celebrated their 19th anniversary of their wedding. On this occasion, the actress shared a photo which showed that over the years, the feelings have not weakened. Recently, the 50-year-old actress has been acting less and even said that due to her life experience, she will no longer act in romantic films. She spends a lot of time with her loved ones on a ranch in New Mexico with a house with an area of 8,000 square feet. Julia has a small farm where she raises chickens and she has only organic vegetables and fruits on her table since the star also manages the vegetable garden herself and even knows how to drive a tractor. The celebrity emphasizes that her family comes first and she tries to protect her children from journalists as much as possible. This year the twins turned 17 and only in honor of this, happy parents shared rare pictures of the children. Nowadays, Julia Roberts' fortune is $250 million, and she earns from $20 to $30 million a year from films and advertising. The actress is rumored to have insured her famous smile for as much as $30 million. The actress prefers to invest money in real estate. At various times, she purchased several houses in Hawaii. She sold one of them with a 50% discount for $16.2 million, the other one, with a view of the Pacific Ocean, sold for $17 million. Another Snow White penthouse, which Roberts decided to say goodbye to, is located in Manhattan, with an area of 6,500 square feet and a view of New York. This sold for $4.5 million. Julie also has a house in Malibu, which she rents out for $10.5,000 a month. Inside, the walls and ceilings of wood are painted white, which along with the large windows creates a sense of space, and the actress sold another house in a cozy ranch style for $8 million. In 2020, the actress purchased a five-story house in San Francisco, built in 1907 and renovated. The mansion has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, an office, a modern kitchen, a dining room, and several places to relax. And a few years ago, Julia bought a house with a skate park for her children, next door to their main mansion in Malibu. The celebrity owns a Mercedes GL320 CDI, 
and a Toyota Prius, and last year an announcement appeared in Kazakhstan about the sale of a 33-year-old Rolls-Royce that used to belong to the actress. The fact of owning a car by Julia Roberts increased the price of the car to as much as $7 million, although it costs no more than two. Now Julia's popularity, as well as the amount of fees, is not waning. She is still in demand, although she does not try to act too often. Do you like the pretty woman, Julia Roberts? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.